Hello YouTube friends, this is Brad again. I'm here to try to do a quick test. If you probably noticed in the title about some things that I've learned about USB charging devices. So I'm going to try to get to this quickly, trying to keep this short as possible. But I want to show you some things here. This uh, little device here is called a Charge Doctor. I got this off of eBay or somewhere. And it kind of shows you, has a readout, shows you how many volts is being drawn through your USB plug. And also shows you how many amps is being pulled by the device you have plugged in. Um, I purchased off of eBay a couple of these supposedly... Uh, this one, let me see, one of them says, this one says 3.1 amp uh, USB charger. Um, they're cheap. You can get them for sometimes right about a dollar. Um, I ordered this blue one. Yeah, this blue one first. No, it was the orange one. I apologize, it was the orange one. 3.1 amps and when I noticed I plugged it up to my devices I could not get more than about 0.43 amps out of it no matter what I had plugged into it no matter which plug socket I used on here it would not give up more than 0.5 amps even though the device was you know say 15% battery life left I plug it into a different charger and I get more amps out of it so I contact the seller and the seller kept talking about oh is it a fast charge device is your phone a fast charge device and all this different stuff and my thing was that has nothing to do with it because this uh, power pack I built this myself you, know, you could buy these in a the shell then you put in the batteries the rechargeable batteries the uh, what is that 16 oh, I forgot the number 805 or something like that batteries are in here so it has the large cell batteries that are used like in your uh, laptops and stuff like that that are in here so but you can pick out your own batteries and build it yourself so I'm gonna get to this try to get to this real quickly here I got a power strip you can see the lights on it's plugged up this is a uh, charger USB charger from a cell phone or something like that. It is one amp. I mean five, yeah, five volts, 1.2 amps uh, output. And again, these are supposed to be 3.1 amp output chargers. Um, these are slightly different. <clears throat> I ordered two. Let me show you something here. I'm turn them around the same way. They came from two different distributors and this one is being replaced they're sending me a new one <laughs> that supposedly posts the work but I don't believe that's the issue I don't think there's nothing broke I just think that it's not actually has the components to be 3.1 amps to put out 3.1 amps um, which I've had uh, USB chargers that I purchased that were really cheap off of uh, uh, YouTube I mean eBay that were not what they had said they were because I have this device that lets me know. So I'm gonna plug these up. What I want to show is same casing, you can see the same exact size, same plug, just different colors, is that the USB ports are reversed. This one's at the bottom, and this one's reversed the opposite direction. So, uh, Hong Kong, uh, China, you know, same cases. They, you know, they copy a lot of stuff, and one one place copies another one and does it a little different. But the components are in there uh, in opposite directions. So I'm gonna put these in. I have to turn them in opposite directions to make sure. Have a little light. You see, they have the little blue LED. Shows you you have them plugged in. The other thing that I learned is there's also a difference between the cords that you use. Um, we know about gauge wires and all of that. I got this pink cord off of, uh, ordered several, two or three of them from somewhere. They might have been 
you know, uh, 70 cent each on YouTube. This card came with my uh, tablet and uh, pretty thick looking card compared to this one. I don't know if you can see that, but it's much thicker. So, higher gauge wire. And this I got from Dollar Tree. And this is one of those little windy things. Pull it out, put it in, and it's a pretty, it's flat, and it's very thin. These are neat to have around. I kind of like these. Okay, here we go. First thing I'm going to do, I am going to plug, you know, I'm going to use this cord. Because I know this cord will uh, allow more amperage through it. So I'm going to plug this in, and I'm going to plug it to... Well, let me plug this in first. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to reverse these real quick. That one that way so that we can see the readout on the display. So hopefully you can see it. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so you can see this. There we go. About right there. So you can see that's uh, no amp draw and it's about 5.24, so I'm pouring around 5.25 volts. So I'm going to plug this in. You see the light pop on that is receiving a charge. And you see the voltage drop down to 4.5, let me see. We'll watch it here as it it'll flip back and forth between voltage and amperage is showing uh, 4.55 volts so the voltage dropped off because of the amperage draw and it's only pulling allowing right about 5 volts I mean 5 amps it's only allowing about 5 amps max now I'm just going to switch over and this one, I'm about to try to flip this thing around. I'm just going to unplug this. I'm going to plug it into this tablet charger. Flip it around so you can see it. It went from 5.8 volts which it flipped back over. No, nope, it's back at 5.10 volts. So, you know, the voltage has to, to, to maintain. And it's Pulling just under one amp. This power supply is pulling just under one amp and it's at 5.9 volts. I'm going to unplug the power supply so you kind of see what happens with the voltage here. So the amps totally drops off because it's not drawing anything. And the idle voltage is 5.C. So you got to have a circuitry that will maintain voltage in order to supply the amperage needed. One amp. Now we're going to go back. I'm going to go back to this other one. This orange one. Oops. I meant not to unplug that. Unplug that from that. We're going to go back to the orange one. And we're going to see with that voltage drop off, you're not going to be able to maintain or put out any the appropriate amperage and it still is at 0.5 volts even though this it will pull one amp which is this one is rated at one amp 1 1.2 amps uh, uh, but this is rated at 3.1 amps and it only put out less than half an amp I'm going to switch ports on it here for you there try that one back down. Of course they're probably hooked in series. See, Back down. I'm going to go to the last one so you can see it real quick. Went from 5.21 volts down and still less than half an ounce. We'll go over to this one. Now these came from two different eBay sellers. We're going to the blue one. 5.22 volts down to 4.51 back down to 4.4742 it's just jockeying around there basically below half an amp we'll try a different port I'm in the second port now same thing 
I go to the last port again they're probably hooked in series I'm sure they are and same thing so you see these on eBay they look really nice they're really cool and they say 3.1 amps uh, no and I've plugged in multiple devices between the plugs just to see where there be a jump up in the voltage by chance and the amperage will come up somehow and it does not it just gets getting uh, less and less amperage output I mean down to 0.21 amps uh, in that nature I'm sorry about my ring hitting on the table here now the other thing that I want to show you but that's about buying these these cheap power supplies I really want this this is not a cheap one this is one again that came with one of my tablets that I have and it works perfectly fine I'll plug it right back in one more time so you can see that again 511 513 volts and it is putting out one amp so that will charge twice as fast as these other ones that were rated at 3.1 amps it's just not happening the other thing I want to show you is that the cords that I showed you in the beginning I'm going to back out just a little bit oops went the wrong way this again came from Dollar Tree this one I got off of eBay somewhere and this one came with one of my tablets we just saw that this cord the black cord the thick one will allow 3.1 amps I mean one amp through it will allow the device to pull one amp I'm going to replace this I'm going I'm to be on the same charger USB charger I'm going to put this pink one in to show that not just a charger you need a good charger but you need a good cord and we'll plug this back in you see the lights on it's taking a draw and I'm going to show you something here went from the black cord to the pink cord it drops down to 4.94 volts and look at the amps only about a quarter amp is this pink cord is allowing so there's not a whole lot of copper in there there's very little it's very little in the, in the first place I mean it's a, it's a thin USB cord I mean gosh dropping down to 0.17 amps it's, it's hardly it's up and down that's a third of an amp now we're going to go to the last cord that again this cord here came off of eBay somewhere I can't tell you but this came from Dollar Tree this little thin thing and I'm going to plug this in and plug it into the power supply the USB power thing and we are almost at an amp at 5.1819 volts when I did this I was totally surprised that this little thin Dollar Tree rewinding USB cord would allow a amp through it when I would have thought this cord the pink one which is a round cord again like see how thin that cord is I thought the pink one would allow more amperage through and that was not the case so this little thin cord is better than this this pink one this rounded cord so that was a total surprise to me when I plugged that up and uh, saw that difference the voltage while wow, look at the voltage you know 5.2 and uh, we've had a little drop off here but it's back up maybe me wiggling it around is causing some uh, a little connectivity issue but just wanted to show that to you guys just wanted to be buyer beware of these 3.1 amp 
higher supplies that sell anywhere from uh, maybe a dollar twenty, dollar thirty, up to five dollars, and maybe, maybe, uh, the five dollar ones might be. Or there might be some real ones out there, but if it looks like this, I'm just saying, buyer beware. Yes, it will work, but be be also aware. The more devices you plug like into it, the more it drops off. Because I plugged two devices into one of these, and it dropped all the way down to point. 21 amps of output so again hope you guys enjoyed that hope you you know kind of picked up something i try to put out videos of things that i i noted and i noticed and i've learned something and if there's not a video on youtube that's uh touching on the issue that i'm looking at i try to put something out there if i'm doing something wrong guys please let me know uh, in in my testing but again, like I said, I think this is a great little device. They're cheap. You can find them. Ah, gosh, I might have paid three dollars for it. Put this upside down. Charge your doctor. It kind of lets you see that a little close. This is three point five volts uh, to uh, seven volts from uh, zero amps to three amps. So it should give you a display up to three amps draw, depending on what you plug it up to and if the uh, USB power supply or whatever you plug it in it is uh, able to output 3 amps. So again, hope y'all enjoyed this. Y'all have a great YouTube day.